In this video, we are introducing to you Dragon's Breath, our battle bot. If you follow the channel, you've seen that my son and I are actually pretty excited about battle bots. We love that TV show. Yeah. And so for a while now, we've actually been playing with different variations of at-home kits. So we started with these wooden kits that you can find on Amazon and some other sources. I can leave you a link to them down in the video description. Really fun. We had yeah, some fun with them. Fun. You've surprised seen some videos if you really follow the channel of us taking out some like zombies and hitting each other and hitting a ball. We've got some videos of those out there. But then we've also kind of behind the scenes created our own at one point that has now been scavenged for parts. And so there's not much here, but uh, we actually designed this one ourselves using some of the wooden BattleBots parts. Um, and it didn't, it didn't work very well. It, it, it did this to box. <laughs> it didn't really do much. So we have downloaded some instructions online and we have been modifying a kit that we saw online. So we have 3D printed this chassis. We've put a big nasty weapon in it driven by a drone motor. It has some gear reduced outrunner motors for wheeled guard, wheel drive. And then it has some Hobby Wing 10 BL60 quick run ESCs to run those on either side. And we've got it paired with our Fly Sky Noble in order to do tank driving with driving those two motors independently. What is this one called? Dragon's Breath. Dragon's Breath. Look at the shirt. Look at the shirt. <laughs> Dragon's Breath. And if you really watch the channel, you'll see that even before it could move under its own power, we had a sacrificial junk RC, an RC that we tested on the channel and it didn't do good. We had one of those that got hit a couple times where it drove into it. And this is the one. And so in previous videos, it's already been hit and the whole wheel has already been taken off. And now it can't drive anymore. Drive shafts are gone and some stuff like that. So it is now immobile, which means it's time for Dragon's Breath to come in and hit it. And just to be clear, we are being very safe in this environment. We're gonna have multiple cameras staged around and especially Mr. James here is gonna be on the other side of a door driving the Dragon's Breath. Okay, so just to be known, I know a lot of people will probably come in the comments and be like, oh my gosh, you're not being safe. Yeah, this could be dangerous. And so we are trying to take safety precautions to make sure that we are safe as we do this. But the RC truck is not safe. Yes, very, <laughs> very much. Let's get this thing powered up and hit it. Knock it back over. Oh, there it is. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It, look, it's actually bent the output of this motor. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. The whole about. shaft is actually bent. I think we're gonna have to get to the, get the other motor up and running. Well, but look at the, your chassis. Oh, chassis is cracked and it everything. It cracked the chassis. Wait, what? The whole chassis right here 
it actually broke. So we clearly need to make that stronger. Yep. That needs to be wow. stronger. Wow. See, this is why we, we learn, don't we? We learn. So we learned yeah. that these plugs can come undone. And we learned that this is clearly not strong enough. But also. <laughs> <laughs> but also, we look have... at all of this. <laughs> so, so show me here, Logan. So it actually took a chunk out of this metal. Yeah. Went through the heat sink into this dent and then also did a dent there. Chunks out of the chassis completely ripped the front control arms, ripped the shocks apart. I think we can still hit this a lot more and have a lot more fun hitting this yes. more. The bumper's all torn apart, even... control no, arms, chassis has got chunks this out. This wasn't even full speed. Yeah, it wasn't even full speed yet. Then look at this. Yeah. It tore through the bumper. Yeah, it really ripped the bumper apart, left the screws behind and ripped the bumper off. Oh, this is, I mean, that was Mass fun. Mass destruction. So James, what do you think about that? It was awesome. <laughs> we've been sitting here, just so everybody knows, we've been sitting here for like five minutes as he's been going over this car, looking at all of the different things that have happened to it. So to say that it was just, it was awesome, dad. It's just awesome. He's clearly underplaying the like excitement that we've had over a while. We did have the lessons learned of clearly this chassis is not strong enough. If we think it flexed and the whole, and that's when it hit the motor. And we even found that it's actually cracked through the bottom. So probably one more hit. And this whole thing would have split. So clearly we need to make it stronger. I also only printed this at like 50% infill. So maybe, maybe we need to go like 80, 90, 100% infill. And so this is awesome. Let us know down in the comments if you actually enjoyed this or not. There's clearly going to be a little bit more of this happening in my household because we really, really liked it. But let me know if you enjoyed it down in the comments and be on the lookout for some more videos as we recreate this and bring in another version of the Dragon's Breath. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.